They've had six running backs opt out. But a proud program with great history and great tradition. First time these two teams are getting together. Brandon Rainey. It's unbelievable when you look at his statistics. 30 touchdowns last year. Yeah. Accounted for 30 total touchdowns. Here's Rainey. Pressure gets rid of it. And it's intercepted. Intercepted. Watching the game. A turnover on the first series, though, for him, Ross. I mean, you know his parents' name and the hospital he was born at. <laughs> I need to do more prep work. <laughs> He's from my home state, man. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Citadel and their starters for the Bulldogs to this play. Second and nine coming up. Little motion, they're gonna toss it right side, trying to get it open. And coming in, Malcolm Morrison, as he was shot on top of that football. Yeah, beautiful pictures there. The foot there it was, and they go lay up the cut. Big run here for the Citadel. First down and then some. And on the carry there was Keen. The senior out of one of my favorite towns in America, Sessions, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, keeps this drive alive for the Citadel. Little be back handoff there and put into the hands there. Available to play today. Second down and seven here for the Bulldogs. Rainey looking to throw again and does and could not connect there with Raleigh. Good job. I'm just surprised they're throwing it as much as they are early in this game, especially given the struggles they've had so far this season. They must see something against Nate Woody's defense. See if they do it again here on third down. A little delay, and it doesn't work. And they're going to be well... They can make a couple more today. All right, so those are our tools for success brought to us by Rocket Mortgage. We'll revisit those later on in the game. On first and ten, Brandon Rainey. On the right end, able to pick up a couple. And you know, one thing. And this year, because of the quarantine, they just did it via Zoom, obviously not knowing they'd end up playing. Yeah. Interesting, too, listening to both coaches. They go right up the gun on the dive, just over the 50 yard line. Third. Had their best couple plays in a row, other than a draw. The Citadel, one of two on third down, outgaining Army 28 to 4 thus far in the ballgame. Rainey. Fake the handoff. Radigan comes in to wrap him up from behind and finish him off. Again with great field position right at midfield. Rainey on the pitch. Wallace got a ton of work and a block on field from Wood. And Wallace stepped out of bounds. That looks like Army football right there. Sure with does. Running backs and wide receivers on the perimeter. Giving him a dose of their own medicine so far. And trying to clog things up and throw the timing off. Second and nine here. The Citadels rush for 51. Army just 13 so far in the game. Rainey's got it. Cuts back inside. Good tough run from Brandon Rainey there. To the 20. They're with you, Ross. The Citadel one of three. On third down to this point. Rainey's going to keep it. Good job breaking in there. That probably what? means they're playing pretty well. Yeah, I think right now, Allen Rodgers and Wilson are playing better. Yeah. It's surprising to hear you say that. So here's the Citadel after they come up with a stop on fourth down. Tackle made there. Much. Oh, and he can really fly. Yep. On second and nine. Dive up the gut. They're going to get a couple. At the 29-yard line. Sets up third and about six. And here, one of four so far. On third down. Play clock winding down. Rainey wants to throw. Dumps it off. And there's a flag. I was waiting. Looked like some early contact in there. They did a good job just to get rid of it before Lowry hit him. Yep. So first down, toss left side. Pickup of close to three there on the run, turned in there. They've had something. Army defensive backs doing a good job getting off blocks. Citadel's got to get more yards out of those plays. Straight ahead dive will set up third down and short. I don't expect them to throw it again. I, I, I think that they're going to lean on the running game. Rainey, you call the partner outside. And a big play from that edge coming up. Today's better. Today's better. I was wrong. That's not a lie. <laughs> Here's Rainey in the final three of this first half. Been entertaining. He dropped that one right in the bucket. Right into the hands of his favorite target. Over the place, <laughs> throwing the ball. I mean, we've already had more big plays in the passing game than I thought we'd have all game. It's 2020. That's all I can say.
Here's Rainey. Looking down the middle, the outside, and it's intercepted! Got turned around in the receiver, and it is picked off, and Army gets it back out close to the 30, Cameron Jones. Three, so they really have plenty of time, even though they're not exactly a quick strike offense. And the Army 41-yard line. Rainey going to keep it. Slipped away there from the first would-be tackler on the... First-case scenario right now for the Citadel. They're down four at halftime. Yep. Under 80 seconds remaining in the half. Sessions, he's the motion man. Rainey, look out, Malcolm Morrison got in there and made the play off the edge. Nate Wood continues to move. 35 seconds left, they've got two timeouts. Rainey, pressure coming far side. Rainey taking a shot down the far sideline. Flag comes in. And back there in coverage, it was good job by Webb to more or less draw the penalty. Still two timeouts for the Citadel. Two timeouts, 25 seconds left in the half. Clock continues to move. That one thrown away into the end of the bench area. Clock stopped with 20. Which should mean man-to-man -man and an opportunity for the Citadel. Kintner's career long is 45. Came against South Florida. Big pickup here. That'll help. There's another penalty flag. Yes. Of what head coach Brent Thompson told us, but yep. in an end-to-half situation, he might give it a shot. 17 seconds, still two timeouts. And he is going into the wind. It's coming out of the south, the direction the Citadel is moving. Here's Wallace, toss left side. Lowry makes the tackle. The pressure on the quarterback. As far as that onside kick, Thompson said, we're just trying to create possessions. It's two academies playing the option. You don't get a lot of possessions. I wanted an extra one. Yeah, that's what you have to do when you're facing a triple option attack. And now to start the third quarter, Jalen Adams is under center. Markwell brought a couple of really bad interceptions for yep. the Citadel. We'll see if this is permanent or just for this series as a changeup. In that game at Clemson, rushed 12 times for 50 yards, had a long run of 17. So here's Adams again, finding seams, and Jalen Adams off to a pretty good stop done in the first couple plays. Richard sophomore is Adams out of Johnson City, Tennessee. Put up big numbers all-purpose-wise in his high school career. Not much here. Going to give him a yard with 73 on the ground, 50 through the air. And a big pass that Rainey had. Nice job there on the edge. Air number one of five in the first half. On third down. From the gun, faked it, tucks it now. Adams doing his thing with a fancy feet, but he's gonna come up short to the 44 yards. Line to the right, Army did not adjust. Calling it fourth and a yard and a half. They loaded up to the right side, Adams goes that way, and Adams has got it. He took on Cunningham, put his head right into him, and he's got the first 37 yards on this drive for Jalen Adams. Adams, that's back in, Radigan, 47 in there, and he'll come out of the game, and we get back to it here in the Citadel. Seven plays now, eight on this drive, their longest drive, and that play going nowhere. Amadeo West in there. Territory, depending on what happens here on third. And one of six are the Bulldogs of the Citadel on third down. And the dive, and yep, they're going to have, they're going to need about four here, right? <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm not that creative. You've coined the phrase when he scores, the Buchanans go off. Here's Jalen Adams back on the Citadel, trying to get a drive together. Had a nice drive last time, their longest of the day, 10 plays. Quick strike, big play offense, typically, and I don't even know how much they want to throw it with Jalen Adams in the game. Well, he looked pretty good running the football. He came out, started the quarter for this team, at the quarterback spot catch, and that is going nowhere but backwards. Malcolm Morris, third and long. We'll get a chance to see Adams throw it here, probably. They're one of seven on third down. Instead, the pitch into the hands of Wallace. Good block on the outside. Wallace is close, but I don't think he got there. It's changed the feel of this game. The Citadel's got it back now, though, with plenty of time. Start here from their own 20. Brandon Rainey, their starter, has not played here in this second half. Jalen Adams is in there, and he came out with a great start. 
to the third quarter. But the basketball analogy, Ben. <laughs> um, so if I'm the point, then Katrina Adams is my two guard. We'll be in studio. Summer Sanders, as well as Amy Trask. They will be socially distanced at their homes. And I'll tell you what, guys. I could yesterday, and you threw that phrase out. I said I'm going to keep that for tomorrow. So it's all it's all a credit to you, Tina. You all you all do a great job on that show. Thank you. Welcome. Third down here. Citadel, one of eight on third. Fake the toss. Adams. Looking for an open receiver, takes the chance downfield and nearly caught. There's a flag. McDuffie was on the cover. Throw a back shoulder throw to McCarthy and get the pass interference penalty, but he could have run for it. Yep. Good on that. Third and eight. Adam stands in now. He thought she's got a ton of room. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Just shy of his own 45 22. Nine for 64 for him. And 12 rushes for 50 yards in the second half of the game at Clemson. Adams broke one tackle. Broughton will come in and finish him off. Good pickup. They're going to give him five on the carry. Play in 2020. They could still play in the spring. And the SOCON, the Southern Conference, would be eight games if they go that route. And they came out today like it was their last. Amadeo West on the back of Jalen Adams. That's there if Cooper Wallace had kept coming that way. He was trying to option off of Amadeo West, but there's nowhere to go. Third and six here. Adams wants to throw, does. Got a man wide open. The aforementioned Cooper Wallace wrapped up at ball. That's how I was the one year I played fullback in seventh grade. <laughs> I also had no moves whatsoever. I got to hear more about this. <laughs> First completion in the career for Jalen Adams there on that throw. Now he's looking to make it two in a row. And this one well out of the reach of the intended target. Down. 100 this team. That's a big nose tackle. 6'5", 300. Stokes in there getting some pressure. Talk about a football name. The center, Hoss. Here's a pitch to Wallace, Radigan in pursuit, tripped up though. The thing, so they don't have to throw it here. They still probably will, but they don't have to. Adams turns, swings it out, and nicely caught with one hand. Radigan with a nice tackle there. Five. Second attempt on it, the Citadel one for one. Harvey showing pressure. Adams turns, fires right near the stick, and he's got it. 48 yards to this point. Army's playing off coverage here. They want to make sure they don't give anything deep. Adams, late pitch, got it into the hands of Wallace. Heavy shot, helmet went flying there. Johnny. Exactly how you teach it. Radigan's got some serious speed running down the line. Has to come out for a snap because his helmet came off. That's right. There you go. And around into the hands of Webb. Talented wide receiver. This depends on how close they get here. I okay. think if they don't get any more yards, they would attempt a field goal to make it a one-score game again. Three of eleven on third down. Adams pressure. Oh, this changes everything now. They drop him back. At, by the way, for the Citadel up yeah. front, that's the space between the offensive linemen. Some of the biggest splits you'll see in college football. On fourth down, Adams is in trouble. It'll be a turnover on downs. Nate will to get right back in this game. You're not kidding about that. They got a first and goal now. Adams under center. Jalen Adams and he's forced back. John Radigan steps up. And Lowry next to him, too. Loss of three on the play. Second and goal now. Adams toss near side. Walk in touchdown. This. He might have scored 30, 40, 50 yard touchdown. He had a lot of space. Now they're going for two, of course. Got to think this ball is in Adams' hands, the quarterback. Here's Adams. Oh, the pressure comes from the left side. No.